We are back in the post game tonight. Jeff Blankman joined by Slade Siemenaller, and we've got Kate Nissen on the headphones with us here tonight as well. Guys, crazy one here tonight, but a good win for you guys here tonight. You moved to one and one on the season, made it a little interesting here in the seventh inning, but a win is definitely a win, right? Oh, yeah. Let's start off with Slade here, sitting closest right. to me here. Slade, you had to come in in that seventh inning. Uh, not always an easy thing, especially, I don't know, I think it's chilly sitting up here. I can't imagine what it was like out in that wind tonight. I'm sure you were moving around some, but tough to get probably as warm as you needed to, I would imagine, right away. Yeah, I threw like I threw in between two innings, really, just to get warm. But the wind actually kind of died down out there, so I thought it wasn't that hard to get warm. But my catcher couldn't really see back there, so I wasn't like, able to properly get warm. But I guess it worked out. So take us through that seventh inning. What was going through your mind there as, as they were kind of starting to get a little bit of a rally going? Uh, it, was, um, it was hectic. Um, you know, coming in, I think it was first and third, one yep. out, and then I let up a walk. And we had an error, but, you know, we always just got to keep our head up. Like, I don't blame Ty. That's not been on him. Just an uh, error. And we can get back and fix those. But uh, I kind of just had to dig deep, dig deep and um, throw strikes. I was, I was struggling. So. What did you find there on that last guy, though? Able to strike him out to end the ballgame. Probably yeah. a perfect way to end this one. Yeah, I was just trying to fill up the strikes. On really. I wasn't trying to do anything fancy, you know, missing back there. It was really like keeping me up and not letting me get down. So it's good to have him back here. Let's, let's talk to Cade about that. Cade, uh, talk about what you saw from Slade tonight. What were you saying to him there in that seventh inning? You know, the past few years, I've been a pretty young catcher, put in some tough spots, and uh, it's really easy to get frustrated. And uh, the first few years catching, I feel like I easily got frustrated, and the guys came together and told me I kind of need to work on that. Cause, you know, my, my body attitude is kind of negative. You know, the umpire sees it, everybody else sees it. So, you know, as a senior, I just kind of thought I needed to step up and keep the positive attitude. And, you know, I knew Slade would come through. He did last year, same thing as Denison. Uh, you know, it was a big time game and a, a big time win, and I was glad to be a part of it. So, what, what were you calling there late in the game uh, that, that got him that out there and got him that strikeout? Yeah, we, I mean, I know Slade's uh, strength in the fastball, and especially when a guy is struggling with commands, you just want strikes. And especially, you know, it was Denison's bottom of the order. I think it was their eight guy, the catcher yep. that was the final guy, you know. Uh, and Coach Young knows him really well. and. Uh, we just knew that if Slade could pump a fastball, he'd either swing and miss, look at one, or ground out. You know, we, were, we weren't afraid to let them hit the ball. Kate, uh, let's, let's, let's talk to you real quick hitting-wise, and then we'll go over to Slade. Uh, big hit for you in that, uh, that big rally there in the fifth inning. Um, what did you see the first couple of times up that allowed you to be able to get a little better piece of the ball there in that in, at that in bat? You know, it's, it's kind of funny because I once went to a mound visit right when I was up, and mm -hmm. um, I went over to Coach, and I, I said, do you want me to bunt? Because I did it earlier. It was a was nice bunt, I was, too. I, I was confident myself. I'm not fast enough to beat one out, but I'm good enough to put one down. So I was like, Coach, you want me to put one down? I know we need that insurance run. And, you know, Coach Young just told me, nah, we know you can you can bring him in yourself. And I, right when I hit it, I, I thought it was foul for sure, but I just kept running, and I guess I ended up on second, so it worked out. What would you see on that pitch? Uh, you know, I just knew fastballs coming. I get, in a, I get in a good count, and I know what to look for. If they're going to throw me a off speed on 2-1, 2-0, then, you know, respect to them. But... I'm looking fastball on those counts, and I got exactly what I needed, and I just swung hard, and I found the barrel. Slade, let's jump to you real quick. You had a big triple in that inning as well. Got another base hit tonight as well. Take us through that at bat, though, on the triple, because you hit that ball pretty hard. Um, yeah, I think when I hit it, it was a 2-0 count, and I only saw fastball, so I knew I would be getting something nice. Um, coach actually had a steal on, so I wasn't sure if I was going to swing, but it was dead red, so I had to pull it. Um, but yeah, I saw all fastballs that I bat, and that one was just right there. Do you guys feel like you got a pretty good read on the on the door hook kid, uh, door hook kid that first time through? Yeah, he was just he was just pretty crafty. I mean, we saw Sears on Monday, so you know we probably won't see any guy that throws harder than him. So we were just looking to put the ball in play. You know, I think we struck out like 15 times, something absurd on Monday. So we just wanted to put something in play, and I I mean I know I struck out once, but overall I think we put the ball in play a lot, and you know when you put the ball in play, it, it puts the defense on its heels and forces them to make plays, and that's what we want. Yeah, that speak. Was a big emphasis yesterday on the off day was working our two-strike approach and really in the cage just trying to fight pitches off and put them in play. And speaking of defense, Slade, you were out at shortstop for mm -hmm. most of the game until that seventh inning. Defense played pretty well tonight. You guys had some miscues the other night in that first game. You're going to expect that, but the defense really stepped up, I thought, tonight. Yeah, uh, I don't know what this and things, but I think we're doing great uh, defensively. I mean, we're really cutting down the airs. We're hitting our cuts from the outfield. We're making plays that we need, not be trying to be too fancy. 
Well, I tell you what, guys, appreciate you joining us. We'll see if we'll see if we can get you guys to kind of slide around here and we'll get, I think we got Devin sitting behind you. Is that who that is back there? Devin and Coach Young. We'll see if we can slide both those guys in here. And <laughs> you bet. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Devin Bach now going to join us along with head coach Ryan Young. And, and, and guys, congratulations on this win. Devin, we're going to start with you here real quick. Um, how did you feel out there tonight? You kind of had some some plays come to you at third. You made a nice play there uh, to really keep you guys with that lead late and didn't let that uh, tying run get over to third base. Take us through that play if you can. Well, I knew just with uh, the win today, anything in the air had to get back. And especially with the situation, anything down, I had to stop the ball and field it clean. So that was my main focus of fielding it first before looking at where I'm going. So that's my main focus on everything. Every ground ball is just fielding it cleanly first and then being able to make the play. Talk to the guys about defense. How did you feel like the defense played tonight? Oh, it was. I thought it was great tonight. I think we only had two errors, which were on some you know, controversial calls, but way better than the last game. We were just kind of booting the ball around a little bit. But today was a big improvement and looking forward to the season of what we can do. Devin, tonight uh, a single with a couple of RBI, also had a walk, stole some bases tonight. You look like you were kind of reading the pitcher pretty well tonight, got some pretty good jumps. Yeah, uh, and with Dor Howe, I was, I know he can put it in there and put it right in the strike zone with his fastball, and so on that uh, two RBI single, that's what was my focus of just being, waiting for my pitch and ripping it, and then on uh, Peterson, I was just early on his, but uh, yeah, I was seeing the ball well tonight and was ready to rip it. Was that the biggest difference tonight was getting a game under your belt at the plate? And, you, know, you can hit batting cage as much as you want, but it's a lot different game situation. Yeah, just seeing live at, live ABs, that helps a lot, and especially uh, comparing it to who we saw last game, Sears, being one of the top pitchers right now, and then comparing to this, it just helped us get ready and being able to see the ball a lot better. What do you think was the difference tonight in that uh, big inning where you guys got the six runs? Uh, what do you think jump-started that a little bit? I think it was just everybody knowing that they had the capability of being able to rip the ball. Everybody looking for the pitch and being ready right away, especially with that first pitch strike, being able to rip that. I think that helped us get going today. Well, I tell you what, Devin, congratulations. Had fun watching you down at State last week and track. Congrats on the win here tonight as well. Let's move over now to uh, head coach Ryan Young. First win uh, for the Carroll Tigers as the head coach here. Congratulations on that, coach. This one's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, it does. Uh, first off, hats off to guys. Uh, I was there for the they had a good, they got a good ball club over there, uh, but it, the boys don't understand how much it means to me. Uh, it's my first career head coaching win, and it comes against my former team. They dump, they douse me with water for I don't know what reason, but it makes me cold, but I'm a warm-blooded guy, so. Yeah, good thing you're warm-blooded. It's a little chilly out here tonight, but uh, let's talk about early on. Uh, I thought Ty looked pretty sharp, especially those first two or three innings. Second time through the order, they kind of got to him a little bit, but what did you see from him early on? Early on, he was hitting, I mean, his fastball, he was hitting his spots. Uh, Cade does a great job of play to setting him up. Uh, I call the pitches. I tell Cade, hey, if you think, if you see something. I talked to, I talked to Ty between innings. He said, hey, coach, no more change-ups. My fastball curveball is working. He gets that curveball, he pulls him down, he was getting over for a strike. And just locating his pitches. He didn't have many walks, and that's a big deal. And it looked like tonight that the outside strike was there. Is that something you guys noticed and tried to work tonight? Yep, and uh, that's with Cade. I've always worked with him since I've been here. I said, guys, Lots of guys like to pull it, stay outside, stay away from them. You know, you got to come in once in a while, but paint that outside corner, that's the key to success. Had to make a visit to him, though, as the game went on. They got to him a little bit there. I think it was in the fourth, if memory serves me correct. You guys able to answer back. What was the conversation with him like? I just told him, hey, Ty, relax, have fun. Okay, I'm a big have fun guy. I hope you see that as I'm coaching and try and instill that into the guys. Uh, have fun, relax, play the game of baseball. You played it all your life. It's a game after all, so have fun. What did you see from your batters tonight? Nice adjustments at the plate uh, against the door out kid and then Peterson. It looked like, especially in that fourth and fifth inning, they really got the bats going. Yeah, we, I mean, we had to be inside on practice after facing Sears. Tip my hat to him. He's one of the best pitchers in the state of Iowa. Uh, that makes Dorhout look a little slower than what he really is. Uh, but we worked hard in the cage for about an hour. We worked on a two-strike approach. We did a good job of putting the ball in play. And when you put the ball in play, you make things work. So uh, the approach at the plate was much better for him. And I told him, guys, just keep improving every day. That's our job. So what was it like in the dugout over there in that in that top half of the seventh inning? I, I have a feeling things had to be getting a little nervous over there. Yeah, my wife's already said I got some salt and pepper in my hair, so uh, <laughs> it was getting nervous over there. I told the guys, hey, I don't, I haven't had the greatest heart. They're gonna give me a heart attack at the age of 35, but uh, no, it was there. But I had confidence in Slade. I went out and I said, Slade, just throw strikes. Okay, if they hit it, they hit it. We got our defense out there. 
You know, we made it, we made a couple errors in the seventh, but for the first six innings, our defense was great. Uh, big improvements. And coach, it seems to me, I know you've only been here really a few weeks, probably maybe a couple of months working with pitchers and stuff, but you've got a pretty good bond, I think, already with these guys, the way it seems. Yeah, that's the, that's the biggest thing. I mean, they doused me after the game. I, I, my wife owes them cookies now. She promised <laughs> if, they beat, if they beat Denison, I brought cookies the first day of practice. So they're going to be looking forward to that. I'll probably have to get them to them after the holidays here. Uh, but yeah, I have a good bond with them. I hope that that's kind of my coaching style. Uh, that's why it was hard to leave Denison, but I'm glad I came here because these guys want to play baseball. They love the game. It makes it fun to come every day. I'm yep. excited. I couldn't sleep last night, so <laughs> I was so excited for this one. So, yeah, I have a great bond with these guys. They're a great group of guys. Coach, uh, Webster City tomorrow night on the road. Uh, know much about those guys? Have you had a uh, chance to peek ahead at that one at all? No, I haven't peeked at all. Look tonight when I get home. I'll look at their stats. Uh, probably be up till 2.30 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> look at their stats. I'll look them on the, on the way of the bus, too. Uh, I'm sure their solid ball coat looks like they got a couple good pitchers, I think. So maybe they've thrown them, but if not, uh, Devin's going to go for us tomorrow. So got a senior on the mound. I got, I don't know exactly how many pitches Slade throw, but I think he might have stayed under 25, so I can have him tomorrow as well. Um, if not, I got Trevin, I got Jack, I got a bunch of guys. Cade Shable that can throw, so we're in pretty good shape there. Well, I tell you what, guys, congratulations on the win tonight. Appreciate you. you coming up for the post game. Thank you. Thanks for everything here tonight. Thank you.